Howdy neighbors, welcome back to the woodshed. This is Woodworking Gamer bringing you more keyboard smashing video fun. Back to another Darkheim playthrough. We're in a modded Valheim world where monsters are powered up from 2 to 5 stars, and weapons and armor have crazy enchantments. You can find info on the Darkheim mod pack in the description below. Time to choose our fate. In our last adventure, we finished decorating the woodshed and did a little prep for our upcoming battle. And what battle is that, you ask? We're taking on the Elder. And I am excited to get in there and test my mettle against the next big, bad boss. However, we still need to do a little prep. See, he's close, but not close enough. I like to put a small hut somewhere close to the Forsaken Altar, just in case I need to rest, heal up, or have a close respawn point for when I inevitably get crushed. But first, let's cook up some food to make sure I have enough health and stamina to take on this monstrosity. Definitely need more meat. 20 should do. And how about a dozen or so more jams? Grab our meat real quick before it burns. And off we go. Time for a quick bite, then off to the altar. And I am running. Janae. Janae. The Elder Spawn really isn't that far away. But now that I think about it, I probably should have brought some portal materials so I could quickly move back and forth from the base. Just a quick jog through the forest, I guess. The nice thing about the Elder Altar is the pillars. Since I can't use a bow, I will need to hide behind these pillars, then pop out to do melee damage to the boss. For now, we'll just set up our forward operating base far enough back that the Elder will not destroy it. This looks like a good spot. I like to build on top of rocks so that mobs can't reach the base to destroy it and rocks give you added structural integrity. Nothing fancy, just big enough for a bed, portal, maybe workbenches to repair items. This could be a long fight. Also, need to enclose it so I can put the bed down. Some stairs to get in. And can't forget the fire. Grab some rocks, and we'll just hide it under here. One bed coming up. And a few storage chests for backup food and any extra loot we get. Drop some food in here for safekeeping. 
need a little more wood. And I could chop down some more trees, but I need to run back to base for portal mats anyway. Ooh, some gray dwarfs. Taste my sword and give me your gifts of wood and stone. Good test against the armored gray dwarf. Yeah, not too shabby. I think I'll use the sword more often. Gotta build up that skill. Alright, definitely got my share of wood and stone. Wrap up the day with a nap. Wakey, wakey. First, let's grab those portal materials. Now to pick a place to drop this portal. Need some place with space. Too cramped. This should work. And then maybe add a platform and some stairs to get to it. Off to place the other side of the portal. Running through the forest, the forest, running through the forest in the rain. Portal should fit nicely here. And connect it. All done. I think it's time to add a roof to our little hut. Nice and cozy. at my spawn point. Uh-oh, can't sleep. Need to close in some of these walls. Better make sure we can get some rest when needed. A few nicely placed pieces. A little cross beam. Looks nice. Close this side in. Like it was meant to be. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's put down a workbench, just in case we need to repair weapons and armor during the battle.
don't have what we need for a forge. Let's run back and grab some materials. Ah, seeds to summon the boss. Definitely going to need those. We can put all this stuff in the chest for future builds. Put down the forge, make sure all our stuff is repaired. Oops. Workbench needs moved. Better. Time for battle. We'll be using multiple weapons on the Elder to see what works best. I think I'll start off with the Ad Gear. Let's do this. Equip my ad gear and hit him before he even gets up. He hits hard, and those roots are dangerous. Wish I had learned a dodge roll before this. Ouch. Ouch. Gotta hide. I love those pillars. stupid roots. Look, I did a dodge roll. I am the master. Or not. Now, just need to hide and heal before he massacres me. You can't see me. Five knuckle shuffle. Ah, oh, these roots are such a pain in the butt. And you can't hit an elevated position, but they can hit you? That's so wrong. A few strategic hits around the pillar. Knock out those roots. Come on, is that the best you've got? Tell you what, this is going to take forever. How you like my sword? Ring around the pillar, Elder's not a killer. I think I made him mad. Ladies and gentlemen, we're early in round one and the Elder has Woody backed into a corner. He's coming in strong, but Woody's holding his own. He's throwing quick jabs, a little hit and run, but the Elder's playing dirty using his corner man, Roots, as a distraction. Woody keeps taking hits, but nothing seems to bring him down. This little viking is like the Energizer Bunny, and keeps going and going. The elders really pouring it on, stomp after stomp. few more quick jabs and it seems Woody might finally be getting tired. Elder lands a few good hits but Woody bounces back with some energy. Who's going to win 
this battle of giants, folks. We interrupt our regularly scheduled heavyweight bout to bring you these smooth sounds.
that last track was Stomping Grounds by Smashing Elders. Now back to our fight. Looks like our little Viking friend is still hanging in there, going toe to a uh, root with this forestry forsaken phenom. So, we're a little over 20 minutes into this battle. That is one tough tree stump. Just keeps going. I'm taking him. Oh, that that's not good. Nope, def definitely not good. Oh, come on, get out of here. Oh, I just nailed the dodge roll. And then I still get killed. That's life. Okay, so I think that was death number 18, maybe? I think we can do this. Let me just uh, eat up here real quick. Gotta get some health and stamina and come on, hurry it up. Oh, and of course, this little gray dwarf down here wants to hang around my house. Well, make a quick run for it to my body and hide behind the pillar because that's what pillars are for. All right, hurry up, get dressed. Naked Vikey is not defeat. Oh my, my cape's done. Jeez, of course. I did not repair. But you know what? He's got low health. Let's just do this. Come on, what you got? Oh, of course you got to bring out the roots. Yeah? Oh yeah? That's what I thought. A little happiness and applause for me. Oh, I got my swamp key. Okay, okay. Nice troll leather legendary helmet. Not bad. I mean, I've already got a bronze one. But, still not bad. I can save this, use it for my backup armor. You know that set you use after you die and you have to run back to your dead body so you're not naked? And if I get all troll leather armor, you get that 25% sneak bonus. So that would be kind of epic. Alright, two bosses down, three to go. And that wraps up another Darkheim playthrough. As always, thank you for stopping by the woodshed. You are the heartwood of this channel. If you have questions or comments, wedge them down in the comments section. If you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button to show your support. If you enjoyed this video, consider hammering that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos. For more content, check out the links in the description area to see where else you can find me living that building life. This is Woodworking Gamer from The Woodshed, wishing you the best in all you do. Thank you and take care.